This video demonstrates how to import an Energy Plus input data file, IDF, into OpenStudio. And what I've found to be the fastest way to generate a Title 24 baseline model, IDF, also known as a standard design model, basically a building whose energy efficiency represents minimal compliance with the Title 24 energy efficiency standards. Using a combination of SketchUp, the OpenStudio SketchUp extension, as well as the main OpenStudio application, and CBECCOM 2019. So if you've made it even this far through the video, I assume you have some familiarity with that software and how to get it. So I'll just start by importing an IDF into OpenStudio. And sometimes I'll get some errors when I do this. For the most part, you can just ignore those and now just save the model as an OpenStudio OSM file. And now we'll open that OSM file in OpenStudio. So now that we're in OpenStudio, there's a few things that we need to do to the model before we can export as an SSD, which we can then import to CBETCOM. But uh, first we have to add building stories and then assign those thermal zones to the building story. So in this case, we only have one story. So we'll just call that level one. And now we'll go to the zones tab and assign that building story to all of these thermal zones. And we'll just save that and export that as an SDD. I'll just call it RTL. This is actually the Deer prototype model, the retail large. So now in CBETCOM 2019, and then navigate to that SDD file that we just saved and open that. We'll get an error, but we can um, usually get a bunch of errors like this. We can normally just ignore them. And we'll just save that as uh, CBETCOM CIBD19. So for some reason, the constructions and materials never import properly. Um, there's some sort of disconnect between OpenStudio and, and the way that it saves the SDD. But um, we just have to go through the materials and um, select categories and subcategories um, just such that there's uh, an R value and a thickness and that sort of thing and then they'll register, the constructions that use these materials will register as um, valid, essentially. And like I said, um, it doesn't really matter that much what we're selecting here. We do wanna make sure that our constructions are meeting the mandatory minimum requirements in terms of envelope performance. But other than that, we really just wanna specify valid materials so that we can simulate the model without it giving us an error. So the bigger picture of what we're doing here is we're defining a proposed model. And again, it doesn't matter if the proposed model um, even meets the minimum requirements, if it um, passes or fails a simulation. All we're trying to get it to do is just simulate successfully such that it generates the baseline IDF file. So the other thing that we need to do is select proper space functions for each of the thermal zones. And um, these deer models have really kind of arbitrary zone names, but they have zone lists that indicate the space function. So I'm just looking through the IDF um, zone lists and using that to select the proper space functions in uh, CBATCOM. And I'm also just changing the space name in CBETCOM too, just so I know what type of thermal zone that is in the future, but you don't have to do that. So after we select all the space types, we want to make sure that we're simulating a new envelope and lighting model. 
and then I'll just try to simulate and it'll tell me that I need to add the daylighting controls. So I'll run through each of the zones and select 100% controlled for the zones where it's required. So now with the daylighting control specified, we can just save this and click simulate again. And it looks like it's going to go this time. So we don't even necessarily need to wait for the simulation to finish in order to grab that baseline IDF. So right now it says translation AB. That was um, translating our proposed inputs for our proposed model and translating that into a standard design baseline model. And now it's simulating the proposed model and the baseline model. But if we go to that folder where our run outputs are saved, so this is what we've been after, the baseline model, which represents our original IDF geometry with the Title 24 standard design model applied. In this case, it represents uh, minimal compliance with the 2019 Title 24 standards. So thanks for watching.